I'm actually having a fantastic day. I got so much baking done today, you would not believe really? I'm baking. I feel like you got hardly anything done. I yeah. was a baking I've phenom. I've been dragging ass all day, oh, man. getting I, things done, I feel like. I don't know this if I is had a fever overnight or something, but is that raining right now? Yeah. Oh. This is just goes for, for later. Go ahead. Uh, you can no, I, no, I don't want this to be in there. Yeah, you don't want Yeah. No. Well, not everything that I film right now goes into the final product. So yeah, what is yeah, it? Yeah, it's that good. Yeah, yeah. Your mom uh, was right you make like yeah. Uh, okay, so let's see. What are we going to do here? Well, first of all, I guess we'll do introduction. Hey, gang. Uh, Rob here. Welcome to Guac Talk. With me is Nate DeMont of DeMont Guitars. How are you doing today? I'm doing good, thank you. Yeah. Now, Nate has just sampled some of the rivalist guacamole. Uh, I found out only minutes ago that Nate doesn't actually enjoy onions. That's true, but I really do like these onions. Yeah, you do. The red onions. Yep, I like better. the whole guacamole mix. It's very good. Yeah, there you go. Adam. Uh, you said that onions usually to you taste like a locker room. Yeah, like a boy's locker room, a little bit like armpits. Yeah, okay. That's disturbing. And unappetizing. This guacamole is the least armpit flavored I've ever had. <laughs> there you go. I like that ringing endorsement. The least <laughs> armpit flavored guacamole you can buy. <laughs> Lay your money down. Uh, you had guacamole earlier today for lunch. Yep, I did. Uh, it wasn't mine. Nope, it wasn't yours. And but it was good. It wasn't bad, but I noticed the difference. And I'm not a huge guacamole eater in general. Not that I don't like guacamole. I just it doesn't come up that often. Sure. Um, but the guacamole this afternoon. Um, was at a Mexican restaurant on some food, and it was good, but it was very bland compared to your guacamole. Yeah, it was it? just kind of, it was almost just like a cold thing. Yeah, and it was right. no flavor. Yeah, okay, was it uh, like chunky or pasty? It was a little bit pasty. Yeah, it wasn't. Um, there's more of a, a substance and a, a consistency in yeah. guacamole, and you can tell there's real real food and real flavor in there. Yeah, that's right. Like yeah, insulin. right, you're not kidding. Yeah, uh, a lot of people put, uh, let's see, gel. <laughs> gel! Is Jill still here? I'm, I'm here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> you said people use what do they use as filler in their guacamole? Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Right? Oh, I'd use cardboard. Mayonnaise. Yeah, I would use cardboard before I use mayonnaise. Uh, or green peas. Or green I, I've peas. I've never heard green peas. I, I, I have personally done mayonnaise. Before. You're thinking of really? green peas. Oh, Jill, that yeah. disappoints me. I was just doing what I was told. Uh, yeah, I don't use any fillers like that, though. I just use ingredients. Vegetables. They're excellent ingredients. Fresh, yeah. I can tell. They are fresh. That's right. Well, this batch was actually made a couple of days ago. Don't put that in the thing. This that's batch is old. Free. Look how nasty that is right there. It turned green. Bro. Yeah. They used to be yellow. Yeah, that's right. No. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's a little brown, but that happens. Uh, let's see. Do you remember the first time you ate guacamole? I think that might have been this afternoon. Really? I don't know. I'm sure I did before. I actually, I can't say that I knew that the green stuff was guacamole before you told me. Wow. So I'm sorry. But there I didn't go. know how important and fundamental guacamole could be to everyday life. Everyday life. That's right. I can right. hardly go an afternoon without eating it twice now. <laughs> today. Yeah, as of five minutes ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how's guitar selling going? Guitar is much like guacamole is awesome. Yeah, is it? Uh, they are awesome. Now, I don't have a showroom like this for guacamole. This well, is impressive. Oh, oh, thank you. We're getting this ready here, if this makes it on the video. This is the new DeMont Guitar Storefront here in Yorkville, next to River City Roasters Coffee. Um, we're going to have guitars here for sale. Yeah. You can bring in your repairs and buy some custom work. Sure, right. Yeah, like in the last episode of Guac Talk, there'll probably be a link to it here. Uh, I was playing a DeMont guitar. Yep. That one you said was like 1200 bucks, right? Yep, with a case. It was beautiful. With a case, see? And, and, yeah, with the logo on the case. It was a beautiful sounding guitar. It plays really well. Um, and I think it's at 1200 bucks, you're probably giving it away. I think so too. Yeah, it's a steal at twice the price. Um, you sell batteries? <laughs> we do sell some batteries yeah, uh, for, your, for your guitar tuners. Yeah, uh, that's through, D, what, demontguitars.com. Yep, demontguitars.com. You can find us on Facebook at facebook.demontguitars.com. And you can purchase stuff on Facebook as well. Yeah. Do you do your own webs, web smithing? We d I do, for the most part. Yeah. Me and a couple of guys that help me out. Uh, 
That's why it's a little bit rough sometimes. Yeah, it is a little rough sometimes. But if you order a guitar online, I'll buy you a free thing of guacamole. There you go, yeah. So get a guitar and some guac. We need a third G in there. We can call it GGG. My grandmother. We'll get a handwritten note from my grandmother <laughs> thanking you for your purchase. I don't have any grandmothers left. That's actually a bad idea. Oh, now, Nate, you're in a rock band. Oh, no, it's a folk awesomeness band. Hold on. Cut this part out where I, I go through here. No, this is all in. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is all in. At the end of it, this guac talk's not going to feature any talking. It's going to be all the stuff. You're just going to cut this all out? Yeah, all the interesting here you go. stuff. Hudson Crossing. Hudson we'll Crossing. We'll put these links right here. They're both the same one. There you go. Facebook, HudsonCrossingMusic.com. Yeah, there you go. And uh, let's see, Ethan Bell, who's also done Guac Talks, he's a member of Hudson Crossing. Mike. Yep, Banjo Mike. Banjo Baritone Mike. Baritone Nate and Box Ethan. And Box Ethan. We're Hudson Crossing. Yeah, there you go. I like the Oswego, Illinois base. I thought it was because of all the dollar bills. Yeah, dollar bill, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Guacamole brings other boys to the yard. And they're like, it's better than yours. Damn right, it's better than yours. I could teach you, but I'd have to charge. I only ask you on etiquette for chips. Mm. If you dip one side in and eat it, can you double dip if you do it from the other side? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Cause I'm because I like I don't want to waste a good chip. Yeah. No, you're just wasting. I want my things. guacamole. All right. Or I'll this tell you what the guacamole chip sandwich. The real secret is to take your chip. Watch. This is how to do it. Like suppose that's a full size chip right here. Mm -hmm. You get a little bit of guacamole on there, you know, for your bite. Just right away, before you even bite into it, you get two sides. Full serving. Full serving, that's right. And she goes real well with Sprite, which you can buy at River City Roasters Coffee in Yorkville, Illinois. Mm. Mm. What else can you buy here? River City Roasters in Yorkville, Illinois. You roast their own coffee right here on the side of the Fox River in Yorkville, Illinois. Mm. You can get homemade goods, well, baked goods here. Home baked um, goods? Yep. The Baritone Uncle Andy pretzel sandwich is awesome. Um, you can get a Baritone Nate Dreamland, which is a coffee named after myself. Yes. A lot of sugar, some milk, some vanilla, some whipped cream, some honey, some just sprinkles. We did a video about Excellent. the Baritone Nate Dreamland. Yep. Link. Link right here. Right here. Yeah. All Let's right. put it right here between our hands. Yeah. Link right here. I like that. Good. Um, I don't know. I didn't really, I guess I, sh I should have written some ideas down for this. These are pretty good ideas. These are good ideas. It's going to be a lot of editing. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a lot of editing. It's going to be a lot of fun to watch, I hope. Um, okay, so I'm going to do the sign off part now where I say, what do I say? Okay, I'm done. No, that's not what I say. I say something about rate, comment, and subscribe, but I can't remember how I do it. Anyway, this has been another great episode of Guac Talk. My thanks to my friend Nate DeMont of DeMont Guitars. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, all that fun YouTube stuff, and I look forward to talking again real soon. Rate, pillage, and steal. <laughs> rate, pillage, and steal. That's probably going to get cut, cut that part out. Yeah. <laughs> There's another edit for me. Great. <laughs>